Hey, what's up, everybody? You're back for another action figure review, and this time we're gonna take a look at another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SH Figuarts action figure. This time it's Leonardo, and this is made by Bandai Tamashii Nations. Of course, we took a look at the Donatello last time around, and now we're looking at Leonardo, the second one that has been released within this entire wave, and. We have two more turtles to go. We have Raphael and Michelangelo. Those don't come out till a month from now. So stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to get those and review them. Here's the side of the box. And here is the back. Got some poses. And then here's the other side. So sharing the same box art as Donatello. And I like it. I dig it. Looks very cool. Got the animated you know, version of him on the side there. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and get Leo out of the package and see what we got. There we have Leonardo out of the package. And just like Donatello, he feels great. Looks great. Tight joints and all. Quality control is good on the figure. I love the die cast on the legs. Solid figure. It feels so good. And without that sounding weird. But it feels good, you know. It feels great. Um, they did a great job once again. Now, I don't know if it's the same sculpt or not. It could be the same sculpt, just, you know, they just recolored the, um, you know, the blue and purple, whatever, on the, on the, on the face mask and then the elbows. They, I mean, honestly, it looks like they could have done that, um, so I'm not sure, but it looks exactly the same as the sculpt on, you know, Donatello. Just, of course, the L on, on Leo is gonna be an L, not a D, but, uh, just like Donatello, I'm digging this figure, and he's got that neutral face. Looks like they all have neutral faces, and this one does not have a happy face like Donatello's got a more angry face right here. So let's take a closer look at that. So that looks cool. Looks like he's fighting someone there, or he's just pissed off. And again, you just got to pull out the um, the knot from that that face mask onto this one. And then this one, instead of a pizza, it comes with a sewer lid. So city sewer. There's the back. It's so pretty cool. I like that. And then we have the two katanas. Uh, I put it on the holster. Uh, two katanas here. Nicely painted silver. And then got the uh, brown handle. So that looks cool. And then there's the other one. And then we have the holster for it. Where you can put it on the back. And I don't know why they keep making the color of the holster a light brown. This is the same problem that the Donatello had. And the... The brown is different. I mean, look at it. It's like a tan versus the dark brown on that. So I don't understand why they made that color so drastically different. Now, going on to the other hands, we have the katana holding hands there. And we have half open hands. It looks like exactly the same as Donatello's set of hands. There's the open hands. And then the two fists on the figure. Let's take a closer look at Leonardo. And he looks very good. We got the... Uh, other head on there actually didn't put the us uh, the knot this is how that comes off you just pull it right off and put it on this one this is a little laziness on bandai's part probably they didn't want to make another one so they had you remove it off one head put it on the other you honestly don't need to take it off to put the head on you just have to switch it out put that you know it's just a ball joint um so that's kind of stupid but you the head. Let's go ahead and do the articulation real quick. Got the head going forward and back, uh, side to side. Got 360 degrees there. Uh, the neck helps it go down a lot, very drastic, and it goes up a little bit. Pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, the arms go forward and back, and then out. Got the shoulder joint going around like that. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows right there. We have the wrist on a ball jointed hinge. So that's good. We have a waist swivel that is underneath the shell right there. You can see that, which you don't really need because um, it's going to be hindered a lot. Not just like Donatello, it's hindered. The legs are hindered by the shell, but it is a soft rubber, so it kind of bends and allows you to move the leg forward and back and in and out just fine. Very good range of motion there. All right, in the Donatello review, I did say that the legs don't drop down like the Dragon Ball Z figures do, but they do. It's just very minimal. It's very little. I can see the joint dropping down and where you could drop it down, but it's very minimal and doesn't move. You can't really even tell. That's why I didn't think you could. Um, so I don't really see anything there. Um, so I don't want to count it, but I'm also just stated because I do see the joint there. So yes, it does have that joint. Uh, 
As for the knees, double jointed knees, and I love how that is perfectly sculpted and looks nice there. It doesn't look weird. Sometimes they have the knee bends looking weird. And then the ankles go forward and back, same exact ankle as the Donatello. It looks, looks kind of whack and ugly there, uh, but it's okay. It goes left and right. It's die cast pivots as well, and we have toe articulation right there. Oh, I like that. I love the katanas. And that head sculpt looks a lot better when he's holding the katanas because he looks a little bit more angry and he's got a reason to be angry. He looks like he's about to fight and, you know, kick some serious butt. And it looks great. I like it. I love the figure. I mean, this is getting me very excited for the rest of the wave and the rest of the... I keep saying wave. It's not a wave, but the rest of the series. And I'm hoping they expand it, uh, you know, further beyond the turtles and go to Shredder, you know, and go to... I, I'm sure... I think... I think they did show off a prototype for Shredder, but um, I don't think it was confirmed or anything. But as of right now, I'm happy with the Turtles, and they look great so far. I can't wait for Raphael and Michelangelo, especially Raphael, because Raphael was my favorite Turtle when I was growing up watching this. Raphael was always my favorite, and I can't wait to get Raphael. I think this is well worth the money. It's a little pricey. It's about $60, and I think that's because of the name, Ninja Turtles, and because of the actual figure itself. Is I mean, you feel like you're getting your money's worth, and you got some good accessories, uh, the die cast on there, and everything looks great. But with that said, I think that concludes my review. Let's go ahead and bring in Donatello with him. So we got a little happy Donatello while we got a little angry Leonardo. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys will like, stay tuned for more videos and reviews. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.